what's up you guys today we're going to be talking about what stocks to buy in 2020 after this month we should be getting ready to finish earnings reports so we're, i personally think we're going to see a downtrend in the market so i wanted to make this video to basically give you my ideas of what stocks you should look at when you want to buy stocks in the stock market all i ask is you just take five seconds of your time hit that like button below it really helps out this channel and subscribe if you haven't yet so let's go on the computer so i can show you guys what stocks i'm actually looking at ticker symbol aal a lot of people have been talking about this stock american airlines i'm going to be basically going over all the, the stocks and all the companies people are mainly talking about and my honest opinion on all of them we have here american airlines i personally think we're still downtrending in the market i do maybe expect us to hit this low again um we're still downtrending in the market this little up pattern was from a stimulus package and you know i do see us downtrending especially within the next month after earnings report i do expect this to start downtrending in the, the market and that's my opinion on it i do see us hitting this low again of eight dollars but if you want to start adding positions you can start adding anything below maybe ten dollars little by little don't put all your eggs in one basket this is why i'm making this video i want to let you guys know to diversify as much as possible that way if one company goes bankrupt you know you still can take advantage of this opportunity you don't want to just put all your money in American Airlines I'm buying a little bit of airline stocks cruise line stocks as well as Hotel United Airlines ticker symbol UAL still downtrending in the market and even though they got the stimulus package they're still not going to be growing their business it's just only basically like a band-aid so I do see us like continually going down we might see lower lows it's crazy how the market's been acting with all the feds pumping in money in the market but I personally see us going lower next month I think will be probably one of the best buying opportunities depending how earnings go within this month if it breaks out here and starts up trending hard then you might want to get in i personally think we're going to see lower lows in the market i will start adding up positions here within like the 20 mark and below i could potentially see it hitting 13 as well with the fibonacci tool we have here loading up positions in small increments would be most ideal and let's talk about southwest airlines as well and all these airlines are pretty much showing the same pattern they're still down trending in the market this little pump was from the stimulus package downtrend a uh, little pump here but we're still down trending in the market as you can see here it's almost at the bottom it's been down trending as well this moving average is not showing any up movement it's making lower lows and we could potentially see the 25 mark for southwest airlines as well i'll be aware of that and i think the best opportunity we're going to get is probably within next month after all this earnings so those are the three airline stocks that i see have really good potential if you would like i would diversify as much as possible i'm also going to be buying crew stocks i'm going to be buying norwegian crew stocks and carnival as well i'm basically making a bit of an update on these videos to show you guys what my thoughts are on this so let's go over carnival i still personally think that we're probably going to see this bottom again at least in the eight dollar mark for sure maybe we might not see lower lows but if you could buy in increments that would be the best bet so you don't miss the bottom i do expect us to keep going lower here uh we're not showing any signs of an uptrend we're making lower lows here boom lower and i do think within the next week we're going to see in this low area if you can start adding positions maybe under nine dollars under ten dollars nine dollar area in small increments and then if it bottoms below seven dollars we can see between the seven dollar and five dollar range just start adding small positions little by little that way you don't miss out the move when we start seeing an uptrend in the market so let's go here and go to spy so you can see here we've been pretty much uptrending in the market but there's a big sign that we're overbought look how extended we are in this market earnings of the second quarter to be pretty bad and with that we're probably going to see a downward trend in the market and then probably third and fourth we'll start recovering and getting back to where we were and we might go lower but we're at least bound for a pullback if we want to uptrend in the market for the most part i was bearish but as of right now i'm kind of in between both sides because if we see an upward pattern then i'm going to be taking positions long 
If I see it's breaking down, then I'm gonna be waiting for my positions right. As for the most part, I do see us waiting at least for a pullback. I do expect the second quarter to be pretty bad, and I do expect this to be downtrending for the most part within next month. Netflix just came out with their report and they're pretty much downtrended, popped up and went down for the most part in the market, meaning we're probably not going to be seeing an uptrend in the market. My expectations, I think next month we're going to probably be seeing a downtrend in them. Amazon's earnings report is coming out soon. We have earnings coming out on the 30th. Amazon's a great stock to buy long term, but not at this price point. You want to see it pull back a little bit, at least staying uptrending for the most part because pretty much everybody's just ordering stuff on Amazon. I would wait until you see the bright buying opportunity for Amazon if you wanted to buy Amazon. So let's talk about more or less the crew stocks. Uh, CCL, I see a buying range within below $10 here. And then Norwegian Cruise Line is pretty much the same thing. They pretty much are almost identical in price action, how they move. See how it's moving sideways here? I was expecting pretty much a drop by this time or aggressive pop-up, but it kind of just continued moving sideways. I do expect us within next month, like I said, to downtrend in the market, buying in this range up down here. Anything below maybe 955 is pretty much a good buy long term because if you look here, Right before this whole sell off, it was around $60. Good long term investment, especially if you want to hold for two to three years. It's a really good investment, in my opinion. So, we talked about the airline industry, the cruise line industry. These are the stocks I'm going to be buying within the cruise line industry. I'm going to probably be putting around 15% of my portfolio on these cruise line stocks. And then we're going to be talking about hotel industry. MGM is a really good stock that I'm looking at that I really would like to buy in this down range here. They have a ton of cash on the hand. They're pretty much set. They, they wrote an article that they said that they had $3.9 billion cash on hand. So they're not going to be taking any, you know, loans out or any aid basically. They even been buying back their stock at this low price point here around like $10 about a bunch of stock. I do expect this, like I said, to be downtrending in the market next month. In this range, I'm going to be starting loading up positions, little increments guys. So. What I'm saying is like, don't try to just cash the bottom. Try to buy a little bit of shares, a little bit of shares on this downward trend. That way you're pretty much averaging down and you can actually make the best investment. Imagine if you, you're waiting for the bottom, it just spikes up and then you're like buying here again. It's not worth it. You want to start buying in small increments, small increments on the way down. So MGM's a really good stock that I'm planning on buying as well as PK. Hilton Hotels. This is another good stock that I personally am looking at. It was a really good price, $3.99. Before this whole sell-off, it was trading at $26.34. I still, like I said, expecting us to go downwards in the market within next month. So maybe around the $5 and below mark, I'll start loading up my positions if it reaches there. So that's Hilton. And now we're going to be talking about the blue chip stocks, the stocks that pretty much are the best bet long term and that would probably be Amazon which we are currently overbought in the market for Amazon but Amazon's just a good good company to buy long term for like many years to come I believe Amazon's gonna be one of the top companies we might hit back to 2184 level eventually and then we might start uptrending it was trading around almost $500 you would have pretty much almost made five times your money investing five years ago. It's a really good thing to be investing in like companies like this, Amazon, Apple, Tesla. Tesla is another one we're going to be talking about here. Tesla is a very, very volatile stock, meaning it goes up and down very fast. But I do think in the long term, in the long run, this stock is going to be very good to own long term. They're so innovative. They're literally ahead of their time. Do think, you know, we could probably hit this 975 mark. It's not it's a realistic mark we could hit here. Downtrending here, we might bounce off this 664 and uptrend. I'm not sure. But what you want to do basically is start buying in increments here. This is a very good company to hold long term. If I see the stock on sale, maybe downtrending for the most part, I mean 472 and below, I'm going to start buying in increments, holding long term for like many years to come. Like this is a company that you can own for, I would say five to 10 years and you'll see a big return on that investment. 
I'll show you guys another one. Apple's another good stock I would personally buy. We might see it hit 257 area before we uptrend in the market. So if you would buy here within, let's say five years ago, you know, that's a really big return. What, at around $100? And that's not even the bottom. If you would have bought here long term, you would have you would have doubled your money. Apple is a really good stock to hold long term, especially for many years to come. Apple, Amazon, Tesla, Microsoft's a really good one. I would personally hold for many many years. If you look within the 20 year mark, continuously growing, and they pay dividends as well. So you're getting paid while holding the stock and they just keep, keep growing. Wait for the right buying opportunity for these stocks. These are the stocks I plan on buying and holding for many years. The airline industry, the cruise line industry, and the hotel industry are stocks I plan on buying and selling within probably two to three years and getting a return on them. But these are the, these blue chip stocks I plan on holding for many years. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys on the next video.